What's up, Dave? I got you a new shirt. That's a gift for you. For your is it your birthday? I don't why are you mad man? I just got you a goddamn shirt. What's wrong with you? I mean uh, it's your personality. Uh, you wanna be mad? That's fine to me. But yeah, I got uh, a new shirt for you. It is bulletproof. Yeah, I know you're always here around and we're shooting, so I just wanted to be complete. Uh, I wanted you to be completely safe. So, just to let you know, I always think about you, all day, every day. Not, not that. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and test it with a couple of small calibers. It's not, it's not gonna hurt you, man. It's all right. It's not gonna hurt you. We're just gonna go ahead and shoot couple rounds. I'll promise you, I'll aim right here, and you'll be all right. You'll, you'll be completely fine. Welcome back to the Kaboob compound. Are you ready for this, Dad? Of course. Of course he's ready. You might be asking, hey, Kaboom guy, why do you have this headband or whatever it's called? Do you want to be a Rocky Balboa or something? The answer is no. It's been two horrible weeks for me. Been very sick. I wanted to come out here and then uh, do some videos, but I couldn't. I was, I was really sick. And then it's not going away and it's still here what i thought is i gave that virus a chance for two weeks to go away by itself but it looks like um it found a good home for itself and then today i'm like ah i'm coming here anyways my voice be, might be a little bit different um, i have this so my sinuses <coughs> see and then so might shoot the virus or it might run away from the gunshots that we're gonna do today so that's the plan first to make some videos for you guys second to shoot my wires let's see it'll go away this thing right here i believe i paid about 160 i'm gonna find that write it on the description it's a level 3 a again hopefully i'm right i'm not gonna say anything i think it's level 3a so it should stop uh, pistol rounds come close that it is probably a kevlar i'm not sure it's pretty thick come a little bit closer that show them right here see it is pretty thick about i would say half an inch or an inch is that an inch that is this an inch or a half inch half inch half an inch uh, one in the front, one in the back, and we're gonna shoot. <coughs> Excuse me, we're gonna shoot it to see if it works. I got it from eBay, as I said, 160 bucks, probably a level 3A, but I'll write it down on the video. Dad, why are you recording Trevor? Just record your son together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trevor. Trevor is ready. Dad is of course ready. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the 22 and see what happens. We're gonna have our GoPro here for no reason as well Let's get back to it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the 22. It's a full metal jacket uh, Out of this H&R model 950. Was it H&R? Yeah, H&R model uh, Garner Mass USA hair H&R, that's all I can tell you. Anyways, so 40 grain, uh, 22 full metal jacket. Let's go ahead and shoot it up. Oh my goodness. Safety first. There you go, that'll work. I mean, you look better, kind of. Ready, Dad? Of course. You think it will go through? No. All right, 22. Right in the middle, we have one more round. Uh, where do I shoot it? Right on the sand. There we go. We are clear. And this is how you eject your shells. Just like that. Let's see what happened, Dad. So that's our entry hole right there. It's a little bit bulged up, but no penetration whatsoever. We're going to go ahead and step it up to a 380. Next up, full metal jacket, 90 grain, 380 out of this beautiful Firestorm Barsa or Bursa or how, however you want to call it. Is it going to stop it, Dad? Of course. Of course. <laughs> kaboom, kaboom, ah, and the kaboom. Right in the middle. <laughs> 
right there. I'm sorry. A little bit bulging, no penetration, so we are still good. Next stop, nine millimeter. Next stop, 124 grain, nine millimeter for full metal jacket, nine millimeter. Happens. It's a 1911 A1 Springfield. Do you want to shoot it, that? Yes. All right, there you go. Let me have the camera. All right, there we go. You shot Trevor, dad. All right, there was one. How many times do you want to shoot Trevor? <laughs> All right, let me clear it up. Where did you shoot it, Dad? Is this the one? And I can tell you, this is the bullet. Look, that's the bullet. I'll take it out. So he went here, traveled downside, and he stopped. A little bit bigger bulging a little bit bigger bulging and yes it did stop trevor i told you you're gonna be fine for now it's gonna be uh, 180 grain 40 cal uh, out of this beautiful xt40 springfield uncle is gonna go ahead and shoot it you want to shoot trevor yeah, sure. you don't like do you like trevor or you don't like trevor I you don't. like him and you're gonna shoot him huh i like <laughs> all right eyes and ears there we go. Ready? Ready. There we go. Right in the middle. Do you see the bullet? Okay. Right there. So that eh. The 9mm probably went down here, but this is the 40 that we oh my goodness, it's right here. Look. Uncle, look. It just came out. Did you guys have this technology back in the days? Like just a shirt that can save you against the 40 caliber? What a technology, huh? That's why they made it. There you go. So absolutely no penetration. Obviously you guys did see the bullet coming out. Here's the thing. Today I did not bring all my rifles. I didn't think this is gonna be that good. Probably I was right. I brought my 5.56 and the 7.62, which I think it's gonna go through both sides. And if it doesn't, then I'll be thinking, why didn't I bring all my rifles? Anyways, so let's step it up to a 45 ACP, which I'm pretty sure it's going to stop it. Uncle Dad, do you think it's going to stop the 45 ACP too? I think so. Yep. Okay, let's step it up. 45 ACP, which I call it a fat boy, 230 grain, pretty heavy, but obviously slower than the 9 millimeter. And I think it's slower than the 40 cal as well. We're going to use this beautiful fire stone, this, this is Rock Island. Rock Island, which shoots the 45 ACP, and you might be asking, uh, Kaboom guy, why do you always use the same exact pistols? The reason why, I'm, it's expensive, and I barely can handle all this stuff that I'm shooting. So I need you guys, I need you guys to please subscribe, comment, which really helps, like the videos, share so we can grow so i can purchase more firearms and shoot more rounds for you guys thank you in advance you ready dad of course gopro is rolling there is a b in our target should i shoot the beer bye bye i gave you a chance this time locked and loaded 45 acp there we go That is our shot. Oh my goodness. All right. It, I don't think it went through, but uh, let me see, bring it from here that our body armor went into the Dave, but he stopped it. There is no penetration. It just kind of did fold this entire Kevlar or whatever it is. The bullet is right here. I can feel it, Dave. I'm sorry, like, um, you are still alive. Uh, you have a couple of broken ribs. It's okay, it's gonna be all right, I'm telling you. Uh, you'll be fine. You're alive, that's all that matters. So 45 ACP stopped, but you would have few broken, uh, broken bones. What do we have next? Let's shoot a 10 millimeter. 
Next up, we're gonna use this beautiful Glock 20. Uh, you guys always told me the rounds that I was using on the 10 millimeter, I think it was 180 grain, and you guys told me it's a weak sauce. So this is 220 grain. See, I'm, I'm looking at your comments and um, I do what you guys tell me. 220 grain, thank you Underwood Ammo. Uh, thank you Underwood Ammunition with, for not sponsoring my videos. 220 grain. This is a heavy boy and a fast boy. Let's see if it's gonna stop it. I don't think on the, it's a rated to stop a 10 millimeter, but I think we're gonna find out. Is the off course that ready? Of course. Of course. Kaboom, kaboom. Kaboom, woo -hoo -hoo -wee. What's happening? <laughs> Man, this thing is already deforming. <coughs> Come that look from up right there. Let me hold on. You should see that entire Kevlar went into uh, Trevor's body. I think he's no longer with us. That doesn't mean he penetrated. Oh my goodness, dude, it went deep inside him. All right, let's do this. Let me open this part up. Look, that's where the 10 millimeter is. It stopped it. Let's see if we can fix this back up. All right. I think it's good to go now. Trevor, I don't think you're here, but uh, if you are, uh, I'm sorry. 10 millimeter. In this state, Kevlar, it might have hurt you pretty bad, but there was a, there'll be a chance that you'll survive. At least there is not a small hole in your body. There is a bigger uh, dent on you, if that makes sense. Stop, it's gonna be 158 grain, full metal jacket, a 357 out of this Taurus. Uh, that body armor it's pretty shot up so my plan is I'm gonna shoot it with the 357 and also maybe I'll shoot the other one that I want to shoot at the end and once I shoot it with the 357 I'm gonna turn Trevor around and then we're gonna try the back um, Kevlar or plate or whatever that is ready that of course 357 sing is kaboom Ooh. that kind of Makes me feel that we went through since that thing didn't bulge off. No penetration. Nothing. So, so far, 22, 380, 9mm, 40, 45 ACP, 10mm, and 357 Magnum. They all stopped. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots. He held up pretty good, even though it's already been bamboozled. So what I'm going to do is... Turn Trevor around. And we have the same exact uh, material that is in the front. On the... You'll be fine. On the back. And I'm going to go ahead and try to shoot it with the 5.56 five, and 7.62 by 39 to see what happens. Travel's still looking. That, that, that's, that's, that's very weird. Now we have this beautiful Sp Spike Tactical AR-15. Thanks again to Precise Armory for hooking it up. We have a full metal jacket, 55 grain, 5, 5 and a 6. Uh, you can come record from here that yeah. we're gonna shoot him in the back do you think he will go through that of course both sides yeah all right kaboom kaboom did you see the dirt on the other side <laughs> our entry hole and come that from here and our exit hole right there so even two of them they did not stand a single chance against the five a five and six let's go ahead and just shoot it with the 762 by 39 as well just for the sake of it i'm pretty sure we'll do the same 
but let's do it anyways. Now time to shoot it with 762 by 39. I think this is 126 grain. It's a full metal jacket. Obviously we have an AK-47. Ah, Dave, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to shoot you in the back. Step aside that a little bit. Are you ready? Of course. You can record from right there. All right, 762 by 39. Obviously, we saw a dirt coming from the other side. This is gonna hurt my already hurt throat pretty bad trying to speak this way, but uh, I gotta do what I gotta do. Come close, Dad. So as you can see, it's a bigger hole than the 5.56. Five, and on the other side, he came through. Yeah, uh, so. As probably most of you guys already know, I don't like to end the videos just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and try to shoot one fun caliber, which I love. All right, Dave, I know I promised you you're gonna be all right, but um, obviously uh, you're no longer with us. So that promise doesn't make sense anymore. We're gonna go ahead and shoot this a uh, huge, huge out of this huge huge the huge huge with the huge huge underwood ammo 700 grain this is gonna kick pretty hard so if something is gonna scare my wires out of my body it's probably this one let's see if it's gonna do it come this side that all right you ready of course now let's see what's gonna happen if we need that slow motion yes oh dave goodbye oh not dave sorry trevor Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> God Jesus Christ. All right, let's see what happened. Trevor, Trevor, man. I, I don't think he exited. The entire body armor is inside this guy. Oh my goodness. He's missing a head, if you know what I mean. All right. This out, what's happening here? God damn, look at that. Look what he did here. Jesus Christ. Let's take it out of him somehow. Stay there for a second. All right, let's open this up. That Let's see what's happening here. Uh, this is the side that we shot most of our small calibers. Let's see what's inside here. All right, so that's what's inside it. Let's see what this is says. So it says body armor panel level 3A, NIJ approved or inspected calibers that it's gonna uh, hold up against. 22 mag, 357 mag, 45 ACP, nine millimeter and 44 mag which it pretty much did what it says let's inspect a little bit better yeah it's definitely some kind of a kevlar and with some other materials right there one bullet this is the i think 45 acp or the 40 or maybe the 10 millimeter oh my goodness what is this dark color one that we shot i think this is the 10 millimeter yep that's the 220 grain 10 millimeter let's see what else do we have here we have something this might be the 22 right there and then 
we have another part of a jacket look there is forming some kind of a form in between it and a lot of Kevlar's I don't know where the rest of the bullets are probably somewhere around here obviously we don't have the 762 or the 556 they both went through and what I want to find is that uh, 700 grain bullet it should be in here Right, that's the second one. Let's see if we can find that 700 grain. Oh my goodness, that look. Look at this giant net right here. Jesus Christ. Uh, the only one that went through both sides that uh I'm like the uncle. It was the 556 and 762 by 39. They, what? Rifle, rifle, yeah. Both sides, both of the plates. But uh, this one, which is the 500 Smith and Wesson, stopped in the first one too, and the rest of the pistols. So that was what it was. If it was, thank you for watching. I hope you. <coughs> Enjoy the video. I will oh. see you <laughs> <laughs> next time.